my unboxing friends. I do hope you are well today. My name is Christine and I am going to try out some stamping eyebrows today. So iMethod reached out to me, iMethod Beauty, and asked me if I was willing to try their stamping kit. Now this will be the first time I have tried stamped eyebrows. This is the perfect eyebrows in seconds, the ultimate brow set. It comes with stencils, pomade, a sponge brush, a dual ended spoolie and angled brow brush, and they're all enclosed in a zipper pouch for your beauty drawer or handbag. So let's go ahead and see what they sent me. Now I do have a code for you and that is iMethodFans to get 10% off of any of their iBeauty products on their website. I will go ahead and link that information down below for you. And we have our how-to information here with pro tips, determine your ideal brow shape. So this is going to be interesting. Okay, so here is my little pouch. We have two packets of stencils and the eyebrow pomade. Oh, wow. Look at that. Can you see that is just pure glass? I don't see any product at all. Wow. Okay. So all the product is from here up. Nothing on the bottom. That's interesting. Oh, that's taupe, I think. It's number 10. <laughs> And this product is good for six months. It'll stay good. But here it looks like they did send me taupe. Now I am noticing that I do not have the sponge brush or the dual ended spoolie and angled brush. Those things are not in here. Now, this box was shrink wrapped with cellophane. So it's not like anybody can take anything out of here. I think it just never made it in here before it was finally packaged. So, okay, I will have to make do. So here are the stamps. We have, wow. I guess this is like a, a skinnier one and then it gets fatter. I have to determine which one is for me, but it also has these lines where you can either start all the way at the end or a little bit further in. This is for a long eyebrow and that's for a short eyebrow. So I have to see which one I am. Let's open the other packet. Let's see what these are. Probably different shapes. You use the same one for both eyes. <laughs> so you flip it around. But you have to remember to wipe it off. So here are these. Okay. So I'm going to figure out which one fits me best. So I think I figured out that this one is going to work the best for me. So I'm just going to pop that right out. Now, because they didn't send me, I'm just going to go ahead and use mine. I know that looks terrible, doesn't it? I'll show the clean side. Wait, I can't find one. So I have figured out that I have more of a short brow. So we're just going to hold that in place. Okay.
Okay, I am not getting very much on here. <laughs> Okay, are we ready? <laughs> oh! Wow, look at that. What do you think? Okay, so I am going to wipe this off. And now let's do the other one. Let's see if I can get it straight. have to say lining it up is the hardest part. Oh no! <laughs> this is not easy. Okay. I got this. I got this. How'd I do? Oh, one is lower than the other. But for my first time, I don't think it's that bad. See, and what we can do at this point is grab a brush, grab some of the pomade with an angle brush, because it's obviously not even, and I'm just going to Try and make it even. And now I'm going to use a spoolie to just kind of lighten it up a little bit. Brush my brows up. Okay, so that's my eyebrows. What do you think? That's kind of cool. So I like the color. I think the 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 taupe is it's darker than a normal taupe. So let me give you an example. So I'm putting taupe on my hand right here. So there's their color.
and here's the color I normally use. That's the color I normally use. So this one is definitely darker. I, I don't think it's too dark. And that's the color I normally use. Now, one thing I did notice when I tried wiping those samples off my hand is my pencil came off. But this stuff didn't. It's there. I'm rubbing and I'm rubbing and I am rubbing. Look at that. So your eyebrows aren't going to go anywhere all day. So it definitely made my, my eyebrows appear thicker because my eyebrows are getting thinner, uh, of course, as you age. They're getting thin, sparse, they have gaps in them. I mean, so the, I am like the perfect candidate to try and figure out if something like this would work for me. Now, I don't think I did so bad for my first time. I do think that it, it'll get easier with practice, you know, when you first start like eyeliner or a brow pencil, you get nervous, right? Until you get the hang of it. And then it's like you can do it with your eyes closed. And I imagine that something like this would be the same thing, you know, where to, where to position it, how to hold it. It all becomes natural after a couple of times using it. But I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, I, I did, it's definitely, thicker than how I would draw my eyebrows. I would make them quite a bit thinner. So this makes my eyebrows do look a lot fuller than they normally do. The shape is nice. I like it. I give it a thumbs up. And thank you, iMethod, for sending this to me to try. I am glad you did. It gives me a chance to actually try the stamping. I was, I've been watching videos about it. I watched one of my friends uh, try it on herself and it did look good. So I was excited when they reached out to me and here we go. So yeah, I think the I method perfect brows in seconds does work. And on that note, I am very glad that you came by today. I do hope you have a great day and I will see you soon.